Welcome back guys, uh, going to be doing another LRF session, except this time I probably, I've got this set up anyway with a lure on it, but instead I've got something even better. I spent this morning digging up some ragworm and some lugworm, so this will be interesting. And just to let you know, surprisingly for the winter, I managed to get some king ragworm, so if you have a gander at this, look at that guys. You don't get any better than that. That is absolutely lovely. Look at the size of that ragworm. The target today is going to be Pollock and Russ, and having this equipped here, I honestly think I've got a very good chance of getting either one of those species. The tide itself is rising. It's probably about mid tide just now, but we've still got another probably about three hours till high tide, and yeah. I think this is going to be successful. Fingers crossed. If it's anything like last session, then this is going to be good. I probably I might put on a drop shot. Sometimes I, I kind of tear away from drop shots. See when I'm fishing very snaggy marks like this. So normally I tend to just use jig heads. I'll just use these little kind of seven gram jig heads as you can see. Uh, and I'll take the lure off it obviously, and I'll stick on a chunk of ragworm or some sort of bait and just put it down to the bottom. Normally that seems to it seems to be successful for me. So. I'm going to try that again today and as I said I think this is going to be successful guys so let's get to it. Right guys, uh, I actually swapped to a, I think it's about a 3 gram jig head, just a smaller hook on it uh, and I've already got a little chunk of ragworm right here like so and again we'll just quickly feed it through. That'll probably do it. Again, I know, you know, drop shot, drop shotting is very effective. It is, and I do have all the material there to do a drop shot. As I said, it's just snaggy marks, you know, you're going to end up changing loads of rigs. So, I don't know, a little jig head like that there is just still as effective as a drop shot, I think, sometimes. So, yeah, I'm going to head for the side of that uh, cliff face there. Usually there's some nice ballon rass down there. Usually there is a, some nice pollock as well. Maybe we might get a codling as well, you never know. But yeah. Let's see, guys, let's see. I'll just do a little drop down like so. Then in the meantime, you see the wait for some activity. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was quick. Oh, that was quick. Oh, ho, ho, ho. lovely. What is that? Is that a ras? Oh, we got, we're snagged up. Oh, it is a ballon. What was that, guys? What? 50 seconds. <laughs> oh, my God. Lovely. That is absolutely lovely. Right, need to try and see if I can guide this round. Yeah, that is lovely. Not a bad size as well. I've extended my net, so hopefully this will help us. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> Look at that, guys. That was, what, within 50 seconds at maximum, and we've already got a balance. Lovely. Told you the jig heads are just as effective as a drop shot. Clearly. Look at that guys. Lovely. There we go. Look at this guys. Lovely. A well armoured fish that puts up an amazing fight. Absolutely lovely. Look at the teeth and the jaws on that. Absolutely brilliant. A great fight, and to be fair, it took all of, what, 40 seconds to catch. First drop down, absolutely brilliant. We'll get this one back. There you go, buddy. Back to the depths. Absolute pleasure, an absolute pleasure to catch. Love them. Well, guys, that's uh, the target species acquired, which is good. Uh, ideally, next would be a pollock and a cod. That would be a, an absolute brilliant session, but yeah, as I said guys, literally 
small jig head, a little bit of ragworm, cliff face, you're gonna get a ban all day long. Because the tide's coming up a little bit higher now, theoretically we should start getting hits like that. Yeah. Oh, exactly like that. <laughs> oh, oh, lovely. Oh. oh. Yeah, that's a nice size balloon. Oh man, that just, they hit hard, they hit absolutely hard those balloons man. Oh, this looks a little bit bigger than the previous one that we caught. If we can net it, if we can net it, yes we can, yeah we can. Lovely. Yeah, that's got a fair weight to it. Oh, lovely. Yeah, that's a better size balloon. That's a better size balloon. that. <laughs> that's a nice size. <laughs> The fight that put up, but wow, absolutely immense. Look at that, guys. Lovely. We'll get this one back. Uh, if you've never caught a balloon before, you always need to be careful. See those, uh, see the top fin there? You know, they are very jagged edges, so they could rip your hands apart if you, if you don't handle it carefully enough. But look at that, guys. That is a lovely sized balloon. Happy at that. So we'll get this one back, guys. That's a nice size. That's a nice size. See the see the bend in that rod. <laughs> that is lovely. Look at that, guys. Lovely. There you go, buddy. Back down to the cliff face there. <laughs> that is immense. Honestly, the tide's coming up, so we should start getting we should start getting fish. So yeah, good session already. Paid for itself. How you doing, mate? I'll take your button off if uh, yeah, of, mine, of course, mate. Of course. Yeah, it's been a really good session today, to be honest. It's been really good. <laughs> yeah, last time we came last week, I got something darted out and really grabbed my uh, my spinner. But aye. I, I came last night. I got a few pollock. Oh, did you? Only, you know. Not too bad. Not too bad. Oh. I guess they're freshly dug this morning, mate. So we did. did I do dig them myself, yeah. But have you got uh, have you got hooks and stuff like that? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. No worries. In fact, uh, no, we've got spinners and lures here. They're in my car, which is about half a mile down there. Right. So, yeah, you know, my... yeah, of course, mate. Of course. I've just got a selection of uh, little jig heads here. Oh, yeah. Thanks very much. Uh, that's, uh, just, just if you want a basic rundown, mate, I'm just yeah. literally attaching it to that, putting a little small chunk of ragworm, rough, roughly about that size, onto the hook, and just dropping, it. just dropping down to the bottom there. And that's it, mate. We've got some of them. Have you got them? Yeah, we've got well, them. I'll give you some spare ones. So they're, they're the ones, are they? Look, yes. It's how simple. Isn't exactly. It? It's it's very simplistic. <laughs> exactly. Oh my god. We lose about ten spins a day. There you go. How's that, mate? Oh, you're a star. Thanks for watching. All good. Me. There's a uh, jig heads here as well, mate. I don't know if you want that lid there for the ragworm. Let me give you a high five. Thank you. Yeah. No worries, mate. I'm Michael, by the way. I'm Dominic. Dominic. Pleasure to meet Morning. you. As I said, drop shots are fit are really effective, but. You're gonna get snagged, and you're t you're just as effective using a small jig head like that. Do a small little cast just there, let that drop. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, that feels like a balloon. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, that feels like a balloon. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's a nice size balloon. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, that's got a good bit of weight to it. There we go. There we go, guys. Nice size balloon, Ras. Again, the fight, the bend of the rod itself justifies it. And yeah, happy at that one, guys. We'll get this one back again. Uh, but as you can tell, just the structure on that fish is ridiculous. You know, you can see its jaws, you can see its teeth there. It's a very hard fish 
and it's a hard fighting fish as well. So we get this one back again. So that's four bound rats today. Perfect. I must admit as well, guys, I think the temperature is roughly about four degrees just now. Last time I was here last week, it was about minus oh, two. There we go. Lovely. Oh, yep. Oh, nice. Oh. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Pollocked, added to the species, guys. Lovely. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, I need to watch myself. Oh, oh. After last time. <laughs> Oh my god. Here we go. Yes. There's two different species today. That's awesome. That is awesome. There you go, guys. A little pollock. It's not a bad size pollock, to be fair. But, eh, there you go. It just shows you the, the diverse species that are here during the winter. Lovely. Now look at that tide. That tide's... It's not at its highest peak yet, but... The fishing is going to be absolutely awesome. It already has been, to be fair. A flooding tide is absolutely pinnacle of great fishing, honestly. Oh. 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 oh, that's a nice size. Oh, lovely. Oh, it's a nice size ras there. Oh, lovely. <laughs> oh, <laughs> these rocks are slippy. <laughs> oh, Let's try and net this one. Oh, oh that's a nice size. <sighs> oh, mega. <laughs> that is lovely. That is lovely. That's the biggest of the day. <laughs> Look at that. That. That's special. That is big. That put up some fight, man. Look at the size of that beast. Brilliant. Get this one back. Mega. Here we go, guys. I would say it's not far off it. Really nice size, but... Yeah. So, get this one back. Beautiful, good stuff. Oh, lovely. Oh, oh, yep. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's a big balloon. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. Oh, he's diving. Oh. Oh, lovely. What's up, sorry? Another Ballon Ras, yep. Quite a good size as well. Oh. Ah, that's a nice size. Lovely. Oh. There we go. Good size. Really good size. Yeah, I do. Thankfully. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Oof. Good stuff. Good stuff. Man, those bound rats. <sighs> They're fighting so hard. It's got to be one of Scotland's hardest fighting fish, man. Lovely. Oh, lovely. Good session. That's me off. Thank you, no worries. No worries. Yeah, no worries. You're very more, more than welcome. More than welcome. Yes, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Good luck, guys. Yep, no worries. See you later. Oh. 
here we go. That was a good session. That was a really good session. Really happy at that.